basketball again back inside the United Supermarkets Arena alongside Chris Patola. I'm Rich Hollenberg. So after that win, Chris, what do we know about this Red Raiders team? Well, the faces have changed from that national championship run last year, but the toughness and the effort have not. They went into that game despite losing a ton of guys from last season. They were the tougher team, the harder playing team, and made a loud statement against Louisville. Texas Tech still without its top scorer, Jamias Ramsey. They hope to have him back. The game before conference play begins, they are riding a 51-game home non-conference win streak that's second longest in the nation. But it's the Southern Miss Golden Eagles controlling the opening tip. First shot of the game, Tyler Stevenson off the mark. The ball's tipped out of bounds. It'll be Red Raiders basketball. Your officials tonight, Joe DeRosa, Kip Kissinger, and Michael Greenstein. And now one of the truest point forwards in college basketball, Chris Clark, brings it up for Texas Tech. This offense, it's a motion offense. It's your traditional motion offense. Unpredictable movement, positionless basketball. Edwards off the mark on the first shot from the Red Raiders. Here come the Golden Eagles, partially blocked and saved by T.J. Holyfield. There's some of that Red Raiders defense that they've been come, they've come to be known for. Aaron pass by Edwards off the hands of the freshman Shannon, and it'll be Southern Miss basketball. Texas Tech coming in at six and three. They had those three losses all by about a possession or so. Chris Beard coming off a 2019 campaign that has to be summed up as dreamlike. He won the National Coach of the Year. He took the Red Raiders all the way to the championship game and were within a few seconds of holding that championship trophy only to lose to Virginia. But they are back, a lot of new faces as you touched on, and now they're hungrier than ever. Southern Miss opens the scoring, a nice baseline jumper, and it's two zip Golden Eagles. Well, and Chris Beard up barking at his team, not happy with the two first offensive possessions they've had. You know, coming off a big win like that in Madison Square Garden, number one team in the country, he wanted to make sure that his team was ready to play against an opponent they should beat. Another turnover by the Red Raiders. That's back-to-back -back turnovers. Here's Harper Baker and an offensive foul called on Leonard Harper Baker, redshirt senior out of Detroit. Well, it's interesting you bring that up. We talked to Chris Beard earlier today, and he said he has four-minute segments of a game that he chooses as the most important. And he said the first four minutes are going to be the most important tonight. Why is that? Well, it, he's already made a sum. He brings in Avery Benson for Kyler Edwards. And again, I think tonight, look, they should beat Southern Miss. Southern Miss is playing without two of their better players. They're already out-talented. And so, you're around the holidays, like, he wants his team to come out, get in a stance, defend, and then offensively to execute. They've got three turnovers early in this game, and he's already pulled Kyler Edwards for Avery Benson. We'll have a lot more on Avery Benson coming up. Chris got a chance to chat with the Red Raider, who has bought in as much as anybody in Red Raiders yes. program history. There's Tyler Stevenson with a two-hand flush. Coming off a career-high 27 in their most recent game against North Florida. Slow start for Texas Tech. So the miss coming in, three and eight. It's a little bit of a rebuilding year for a first-year head coach, Jay Ladner. It's, it's a lot of a rebuilding. <laughs> I think Jay Ladner would tell you. I mean, they've, it was pretty depleted when he got there. He didn't really know who his good players were. And they've had a brutal schedule. I mean, they were down at the Battle for Atlantis, played three tough games down there, three tough opponents. Iowa State was on their schedule. They've got this game. The schedule has not fit where their talent is at. Davide Moretti with his first bucket of the game, coming in averaging just over 14 a contest. And you add to that, just to put a bow on what's been a tough start to the season for Jay Ladner, three key rotation players are out for tonight's game, all with different injuries. So they are young and shorthanded. But 
they have come out firing. That's a three-pointer by Leonard Harper Baker. Only his second of the year. A team that has not shot it well. Wide open, Harper Baker on that one. Here's Moretti for three. Short, but the offensive rebound to Holyfield. And he throws it out of bounds for another Texas Tech turnover. Southern Miss wants to run. They're not a good half-court offensive team, but that's as easy as it gets. And then here's, you know, defense just not talking. Harper Baker, not a shooter, as we said, but if you leave anybody open at the Division I level like that, they're going to knock it down. Well, there's Jay Ladner returning to his alma mater in his first season in Hattiesburg. Previous five were spent at Southeast Louisiana, but he was part of a Southern Miss program back in the 80s that had a lot of success on the basketball court. They were the NIT champs back in 1987, and he's had a long and circuitous route to Southern Miss, very much in the same way that Chris Beard has gotten to Lubbock and the Red Raiders program. Here's Gabe Watson, and a friendly bounce on the rim gives Gabe Watson the jumper, and an early 9-2 lead for Southern Miss. Out of the gates hot. Moretti tries for three again, and again he's short. Loose ball, that's something the Red Raiders pride themselves on, but it's Southern Miss coming away with it. Well, I would say the first four minutes of this ball game has yeah. decidedly gone the way of Southern Miss. And, and I'll be interested to see what Chris Beard, how he is with his team at this first time out. Because this is not what he wanted. Not a lot of juice in the building at United Supermarkets Arena. With six on the shot clock, that one's around and out. Here comes Clarence Nadolny. Four subs on the floor for Chris Beard already. Moretti had it partially blocked on the way up. <laughs> it's a pretty good block from Hunter Dean, who hardly plays, only about seven minutes a game. And now more substitutions on the next whistle for Chris Beer, trying to dial up the right rotation to get this Red Raiders offense going. We're going to have a chance for those substitutions when we come back. 14-29 to go, and it's been all Golden Eagles in Lubbock. The end of the practice is when we do all of our intensity drills. She was going at yeah. it. Stop. Oh. It's right there. There we yeah. go. If we win this, we have one ball. way to get to the playoffs. I know. I season with McDonald's new Snickerdoodle McFlurry and Bacon Barbecue Burger. Made with fresh beef and applewood smoked bacon, it's an easy, delicious dinner to keep you going this holiday. This holiday season, choose the longest-lasting AA battery. Energizer Ultimate Lithium. Backed by science, matched by no one.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. And by Lexus, experience amazing. Well, the first few minutes of this ball game has decidedly gone the way of the road team. The Southern Miss Golden Eagles off to a hot start from inside United Supermarkets Arena. Alongside Chris Patola, I'm Rich Hollenberg. Thanks for joining us on a Monday evening in the Big 12. But Chris Beard's team, who he was imploring to win the first four minutes of the ball game, has only scored two points yeah. so far. Well, the start was bad. I mean, let's be honest. The start was bad. They have no energy. They have no life. They've got three turnovers. David Moretti is one of six and give Southern Miss a lot of credit. Now, on the road, they don't have a lot to lose. They came out here. They're diving for loose balls. They're getting out in the transition, and they're finishing their offensive possessions. And Chris Beard lit into his team during that timeout. He's still on Davide Moretti on the bench. You know, it's so interesting. I thought Louisville in that game the other night against Texas Tech was fat and happy. They were number one in the country. Texas Tech had lost three in a row. I didn't think Louisville played hard, and Texas Tech played with more effort. And I thought that was a big part of that game, because Texas Tech didn't play great offensively. In order for Texas Tech, especially without Jemias Ramsey, who, Ramsey, who's their leading scorer, they got to be engaged. They got to be locked in. They got to play hard. Yeah, a win like that at MSG against the number one team, you, you can almost count that as cliche as it might sound. That was a culture win. They won with toughness. They won with effort. They won with hard work. We just saw a defensive possession where hopefully that gets things turned around. And maybe it will, it will as Kyler Edwards hits the first three pointer of the game for the Red Raiders. an offensive foul on Southern Miss. That's going to go on Leonard Harper Baker. Texas Tech is the best team in the country at taking charges. The best team in the country at taking charges. All five guys out there have the toughness to step in and do it. And it's not a tall team this year, but one of the ways that this program has protected its basket is by taking charges. You asked Chris Beard earlier, the toughest question that he's been asked so far this season and he said what can you count on and what was his answer he said i have no idea <laughs> he said i talked to my team this morning about it and they wrote on the board who are we there's terrence shannon beats the clock well this is a different texas tech team out of the first timeout than we saw going into that timeout Five straight points and three empty possessions on the offensive end by Southern Miss. Defense mm. leading to offense as Clark gets to the hole and gets his miss. Another. And now Chris Clark will go to the line, trying to earn it from the free throw strike. Chris Clark does a little bit of everything. Here's this shot by Kyler Edwards, the three earlier. TJ Shannon, Terrence Shannon. But, you know, Chris Clark at the foul line. You, you go back to that game against Louisville, he does a little bit of everything. He's their leading rebounder. He leads them in assists. You, you pointed out the point forward designation. Yeah. He's got a chance to be a pro because he just, he's got good size, but he's so comfortable with the basketball in his hands. Yeah, and, and in a league as good as the Big 12, he's fourth in the conference in rebounding and third in the conference in assists. There you see his numbers in that win six days ago. Here's T.J. Holyfield, another steal for the Red Raiders. Now Moretti back on the floor. And he makes the smart pass to Holyfield, and T.J. Holyfield will go to the line. You know, one of the things this Texas team on the offensive end, they are an incredible cutting team. There's so much movement. You and I saw that today during the shoot-around. They're... Chris Beard constantly telling his team to move. And that's 
You know, a lot of guys this day and age, especially with all the ball screens we see, there's a lot of standing and watching. His team is constantly moving. And then the other thing is they're unselfish. They're hitting those cutters. It's one of the reasons that they, they average 18 assists a game. That's good for fifth in the nation coming into tonight as Holyfield goes one for two from the stripe. And all of a sudden, Texas Tech now has its first lead of the game with 12.20 to go in the first half. And another turnover forced. Kyler Edwards with the steal. Gives it up. And Shannon almost threw it down for a sports center top 10. It goes out of bounds and will stay Texas Tech basketball. You're not going to see dudes like this in the line for Santa Claus this Christmas. They don't make dudes like this. <laughs> Terrence Shannon, the freshman, what an athlete. He's the reigning Big 12 Newcomer of the Week, and he's got three points so far. Had 13 points on four for nine shooting in that upset win against Louisville last week. An ESPN Top 100 high school player coming to Lubbock, and Chris Beard's starting to get a little more of those every year now that they've established the culture of the program and a winning tradition, especially the last couple of seasons. Shannon goes two for two to give him four and up the Texas Tech lead to 12 to nine. Shannon on the bench, Avery Benson back in for Chris Beard. There's a quick trigger by Ladavius Drain, and Drain has four points. Moretti had it knocked away. Another turnover for Davide Moretti. Chance for the Golden Eagles to retake the lead. Nice pass. Oh, he gives it up in wow. the throwdown from Hunter Dean, his first two. And how about the pass? You know, getting into the paint, taking advantage of the overplay out on the perimeter, and dropping off to the cutting Dean. That's a walk-on. David McCoy, who averages eight minutes a game, giving it up to Hunter Dean, who you already touched on, only averages seven minutes a game. Jay Radner telling us today, because of the injuries, you're going to see some guys out there who probably normally wouldn't be out there. Drain has another bucket. Six points for Ladavius Drain, and Southern Miss has answered the first body blow from Texas Tech. They're up three, 10.45 to go in the first half. Here's Clark, 44 and white with the ball. In the corner, three way off the mark by Kevin McCullough. Drain trying it again. That one's off the mark. Here comes Benson and the Red Raiders. Nice pass. Clark Moretti can't find the bottom of the bucket. A frustrating night so far for Davide Moretti. But a tough start for Moretti, like you said, Rich. But how about this Southern Miss team? You got a dunk on one end, and then you got a three showing the full arsenal. Southern Miss came to play. We made USAA insurance for veterans like Martin. When a hailstorm hit, he needed his insurance to get it done right, right away. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Step it up. Uh, always take the risk. Don't just watch it. Put your phone down and do it. Drip splash like the ice on the wrist. That's a call I can't miss. Let's do it. Christmas trees try so hard. Lights and ornaments and little choo-choo drains. Come on. <laughs> The best trees, they kind of only need two things. Peanut butter and chocolate. Not sorry, Reese's. I spend way too much of my life in my car to drive something boring. 
With the kind of work I do, I need the utility of an SUV, but I want the beauty of a Jaguar. The E-Pace. How Jaguar makes a compact SUV. For special offers, check out the Unwrapper Jaguar sales event. Going on now at your Jaguar retailer. Winning is in season with Burger King's Winter Whopper Land. With the purchase of a fountain drink or french fries, you too can peel for a one in three chance of winning. Buy, peel, and win. In the Winter Whopper Land sweepstakes, only at Burger King. Julie means more to me than anything. And I wanted to ask you, before I ask her, may I have your permission to marry her? You're marrying her and her whole world. Shop Neil Lane Diamond Engagement Rings at K. Gifts for Johnny and Jerry and Gary and Larry, Harry and Melvin, and this guy, too. All 30% off for you, only at Duluth Trading. Versace Eros, the fragrance for men. Shop Joseph A. Banks one day sale, up to 70% off. All sweaters on sale starting at $29. All outerwear on sale starting at $69. Plus, three for $99 dress shirts. Shop the one day sale only at Joseph A. Bank. Shop early Monday. One month into the season, Chris Patola, I think uneasy is the head that wears the crown. The one number that most college teams don't want to have next to their name, the number one, an unprecedented four number one ranked teams have already lost as that top seeded team. Today, of course, a new top 25 coming out and Kansas is the new number one. As a matter of fact, the top 10 is bracketed by a pair of big 12 teams, Kansas at one and Baylor at 10. Yeah. Well, Kansas and Gonzaga have one thing in common, and, and they really have good size and depth at that position on that interior. I do think Kansas is the best team in the country. I think Gonzaga, when they have a complete roster, the health of Killian and Tilly is big, but they have the complete roster. They remind me a lot of that team that went to the national championship game and played against North Carolina a few years ago. They have two freshman bigs who are outstanding, Anton Watson and Drew Timmy. And I still like Louisville, but Louisville has to play hard. Like, they have to show up ready to play. They, they aren't that good where they can just show up and expect to beat teams. Now, if the first month is any indication, it's going to be a bananas college basketball season. Unpredictable. And if you like that, then you're going to want to stick around all season. Well, Wednesday night on ESPN2 and the ESPN app, we got another great college basketball doubleheader for you. It starts in Spokane with the aforementioned number two Gonzaga Bulldogs taking on North Carolina at nine. Then John Calipari and number six Kentucky square off against Utah at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And you touched on Gonzaga. How about North Carolina? They're in a world of hurt. Cole Anthony injured out indefinitely. First time in 106 weeks that North Carolina is not in the top 25. But we haven't seen Carolina's talent level where it is right now in a long time. You know, they just don't have the players. And without Cole Anthony, forget it. I mean, they don't have anybody who's going to score the ball. Their bigs have only been okay. They're still playing without Sterling Manley. Loose ball. Five on the shot clock. Mm, Drain got it to Stevenson, and Stevenson will go to the line and shoot two. I fell in love with Tyler Stevenson. <laughs> down at the battle for Atlantis. Hashtag man crush. I did not know anything about Tyler Stevenson going down there, except for the fact that he was a walk-on when Jay Ladner showed up to become the head coach at Southern Miss. He was a walk-on. He's 6'7". He looks like a player. He's a good athlete. And then he started actually playing down there in the battle for Atlantis and was killing. I mean, he was doing everything. Handling, you saw the, the finish. He tries to go for it right there. I mean, he played really well. You mentioned he had 27 in, in their last game, a career high. I'm begging for this kid to be on scholarship. And, and Jay Ladner says, I wanted to make sure he stayed 
when I showed up, so we put him on scholarship. And to your point, since the battle for Atlantis, five straight games, double-digit points for Tyler Stevenson, and they need him now more than ever, as short-handed as they are. He's got an early four tonight and an eight-point Southern Miss lead. They call that the Spatola bump. Oh, I gotcha. The Spatola effect. It hasn't affected you, though. Here's Shannon. And Clark finishes. The rebound and the putback from Chris Clark. He's got four. Three-point attempt. Maybe a little bit of a rush shot there from the Golden Eagles. Edwards to Holyfield. Edwards for three. Off the mark. And ripped away by the freshman Shannon. So the clock resets to 20. Holyfield, top of the key. And another offensive board, this time by Shannon. Tried to zip past the Holyfield along the baseline, and it went through his hands and out of bounds. 7.27 to go. Southern Miss trying to pull off an epic upset against Chris Beard's Red Raiders. Stepping up. Always take the risk. Don't just watch it. Put your phone down. Every time it's been way too long, a Corona gets its line. Every time you meet from across the party, and every time your favorite place is more about who than where, a Corona gets its line. With Domino's new delivery insurance, if your delivery isn't what you expected, we'll make it right. It could be a missing dipping sauce or a wrong topping. We want to make up for that mistake. Oh, thank you. Get two medium, two topping pizzas delivered for $5.99 each and put our delivery insurance to the test. Friction points. Those obstacles that limit a company's growth. I try to find companies that turn these challenges into opportunities. But by going out in the field and meeting management, suppliers, competitors, in the end, it's these unique companies with creative business models that will generate value for our ambassadors. That's why I go beyond the numbers. Just a few ticks left on the clock. Lillard checking the inbox. He's got to open up a new draft. Got to be careful with typos and punctuation here. There's no time to edit and resend. And send. Another gorgeous buzzer-beating email. Just remarkable. It's only a matter of time until your check engine light comes on, or worse yet, your car needs repair. That could mean a big surprise auto repair bill. That's why it's so important you call Car Shield today. I was elated that I had Car Shield. I was more than happy. There's no fun when you have a car and it's broken and you can't pay for it to get it fixed. So if your vehicle has 5,000 to 150,000 miles, just tell us the make and model of your car or truck and get an instant plan quote. In a matter of minutes, you can be covered. My experience with Car Shield is that they absolutely come through every time I need them. If my car breaks down, I can count on Car Shield to cover it for me. Car Shield definitely has my back. Your car could break down at any moment, but you could stop expensive repair bills by calling Car Shield. Waiting could cost you thousands. So pick up the phone and get Car Shield's very affordable coverage right now. Call 800 862 2581. 800 862 2581. Southern Miss has led for much of the first half over Texas Tech, 20 to 14. The score right now, Ladavius Drain, one of the hot shooters for the Golden Eagles. He's already hit his season average of nine points. He's got nine already in this first half. He's four of five. Ladavius Drain, a guy who came off the bench last year for Southern Miss, led Conference USA in three-point shooting at 46%. What a start he's had for this game. And as a team, the Golden Eagles are shooting eight for 15 against, at least reputation-wise, one of the better defenses in all Division I college basketball. 
Here's Hunter Dean with the handoff to Watson. Five on the shot clock. In the corner. Left-handed jumper no good from Leslie. And it's going to stay Golden Eagles basketball. There's Drain, number 11 in gold. Came from Calhoun City, Mississippi. Leads this team in three-pointers. He's got one tonight, so he's got now 23 on the year. Loose ball out of bounds. And again, it stays Southern Miss ball. Brings it up to 6 2 sophomore out of Jackson, Mississippi. Working on the freshman Shannon. And he threw it away over the outstretched arms of Hunter Dean. That's another Southern Miss turnover. And it was there. It, you know, it's just the inability to complete the play, but the, the Texas Tech help came up and it left Dean wide open. Just a bad pass. That's the seventh Southern Miss turnover of the night. Edwards alone. Off the back iron. Southern Miss wants to run. Here's Drain. Had a hand in his face on that attempt. Nice pass. Good ball movement by the Red Raiders. Maybe the best we've seen all night. T.J. Holyfield pays it off. Chris Clark is a basketball player. He's like a queen on a chessboard. Can do so many things. What a feel on that one in the early offense. We stuffed the garlic knot, then stuffed it on our delicious hand-tossed pizza. The stuffed garlic knots pizza from Pizza Hut. Order your mighty large pizza lined with 16 cheese-filled knots before they're gone. You can't have football without the hut. The holidays are here, and we want to keep you connected to those you love with a new iPhone 11. Hurry into T-Mobile today to get up to four iPhone 11s on us. Only at T-Mobile. This is a perfectly executed break. Goes from one pair of hands to another pair of hands. And then there's T.J. Holyfield sprinting the floor. Chris Clark finds him. That's the Texas Tech that we know. You, you don't know who scores the ball. The ball goes from several pairs of hands, and you get a bucket. Averaging 18.3 assists a game. That's the fifth best average for assists in the nation. And Chris Clark is a huge reason why, averaging just under six assists a game all by himself. Texas Tech down four. And a turnover stolen by the Red Raiders. Here's Shannon. Gets it to go off the window. Defense leading to offense now for Texas Tech. Jay Malone was caught in traffic and decided to call the first timeout. Texas Tech's half-court offense has been pretty bad in this first half. That's why you got to settle in in your defense, create some turnovers, and get out in the open floor. And they do have finishers. Terrence Sharon is one of Shannon is one of those guys. Well, Southern Miss still leads by two over 24th ranked Texas Tech Friday. More college football for you. Bowl season begins. Buffalo takes on Charlotte in the Makers Wanted Bahamas Bowl at 2 Eastern on ESPN. Then at 7.30 on ESPN 2, it's Utah State and Kent State in the Tropical Smoothie Cafe Frisco Bowl. Both games are also live on the ESPN app. And of course, for entertainment purposes only, Mr. Spatola, give us your picks in those first two bowl games. I like Utah State in the second one. 
By the way, big fan of Tropical Smoothie Cafe. The avocado <laughs> is my favorite smoothie at the cafe. What was the other game? <laughs> Buffalo and Charlotte. The Makers I, I wanted love, Bahamas ball. How could you go wrong with Buffalo? Yeah. After your stay at Atlantis, I think uh, they were considering renaming that the Spatola Bowl. Do you frequent the cafe? I love the cafe. Was just there last week, uh, right around the corner from my house. Have you ever had the avocado? The yes. As a matter of fact, that and the uh, the kale. There's a kale green. Yeah, baby. that's another big one. You're talking superfoods now. <laughs> Getting me all hot and bothered. Oh, we're looking at a super upset here in Lubbock, Texas. Right now, Southern Miss, plenty of time left for Texas Tech to right the ship. But Southern Miss is up by three with 5-10 to go in the first half. Tyler Stevenson at the line. And he can't convert. The last time Southern Miss has beaten a top 25 team, Go back a number of years. It was against the Golden Eagles of Marquette. Here's Watson. Calls his own number and knocks it down. Tough jumper from the elbow for Gabe Watson. Had a 16-point effort in his last game against Northern Florida. Southern Miss so sagged off. I mean, they're they're willing to give up perimeter shots. Edwards. I'll tell you, the two starting guards for this Red Raiders team have really suffered from outside. Edwards and Davide Moretti. And they keep shooting them. I mean, Kyler Edwards on the year shooting 25% from three. Southern Miss making tough shots on one end. And then defensively, they have basically said, look, if you guys are going to make threes tonight, we'll tip your hat or our hat and we'll move on. They're sagging off. They're protecting their paint. And they're forcing Texas Tech to beat them over the top. And Texas Tech keeps firing away and they're not making perimeter shots. Coming up on four minutes to go in this first half. Southern Miss has led from virtually the opening tip. Here's Drain in and out. Foul's called as Terrence Shannon aggressive along the baseline. He'll go to the line when we come back from London. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by USAA. Proud supporter of the military community. What you're made of, we're made of. Powerful. I have the power to lower my blood sugar and A1C. Because I can still make my own insulin. And Trulicity activates my body to release it, like it's supposed to. Trulicity is for people with type 2 diabetes. It's not insulin. I take it once a week. It starts acting in my body from the first dose. Trulicity isn't for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it, you or your family have medullary thyroid cancer, or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, or severe stomach pain. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, belly pain, and decreased appetite, which lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I have it within me to lower my A1C. Ask your doctor about Trulicity. Didn't know what time it was, the lights were low, oh, oh, oh. I leaned back on my Is a star man waiting in 
It's right in front of you. Bleu de Chanel, le parfum. At Macy's, the fragrance destination. We made USAA insurance for busy veterans like Kate. So when her car got hit, she didn't waste any time. She filed a claim on her USAA app and said, that was easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. DXL is built as the one-stop shop for big and tall guys. With sizes starting at XL and over 100 brands that fit great and look even better. DXL Big and Tall, built to fit at DXL.com. We fed beef lovers a Whopper with no beef. Oh, I'm definitely a beef guy. Well, who doesn't love beef? Turns out these beef lovers love plants, too. I can't tell the difference. No beef at all. Wow. Try the Impossible Whopper with a patty made from plants. 100% Whopper, 0% beef. Only at Burger King. You're watching the Big 12 on ESPN. Monday Night College Hoops alongside Chris Patola, Rich Hollander. From Lubbock, Texas, inside United Supermarkets Arena, where Chris Beard and the Red Raiders have been dominant in his three-plus years as the head coach. But right now, they are against the ropes against the Conference USA's Southern Miss Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles lead it 23-18 with 3.42 to go. Coming up on the E-Trade Halftime Report, Kevin Connors, Seth Greenberg, LaFonso Ellis, all talking about the biggest weekend takeaways, the impact of finals on a team, and maybe that's a little bit of what we're seeing here tonight, plus the Wednesday slate. That's all coming up on the E-Trade Halftime Report. And now Texas Tech picking up full court. We've seen them go to half court, then they went to a three-quarter court. Now they're picking up all the way, 94 feet, trying to turn Southern Miss over. And Watson again with the jumper. Gabe Watson has six. It's been 15 years since Southern Miss has knocked off a top 25 team. Moretti misses again. He's one for nine from the field. Watson, a little bit of a heat check on that one. Stevenson picks up the loose ball. And Shannon, a big rebound for the Red Raiders. Aggressive Ooh. blocked by Stevenson. And a late whistle by Joe DeRosa. That was a big time block by Tyler Stevenson. Finally on scholarship. Off of a trampoline, just goes up with that right hand. Primary defender block shot. Nicely done. Five points and two blocks. One you just saw by Tyler Stevenson. He'll get a blow on the bench with 2.52 to go. And again, if you're just tuning in, this is a Southern Miss team that has really struggled this year. Three and eight on the year. Three key rotation players injured and out tonight against 24th ranked Texas Tech. But they are providing more than a handful for the Red Raiders. Moretti tries again. And he still can't hit. Just one field goal for Davide Moretti. He's one for ten tonight. Texas Tech, a 51-game non-conference home winning streak on the line. Stolen by Moretti. And fouled by Drain. Texas Tech in the bonus, so they'll shoot free throws. And there's no one in the nation as good as Davide Moretti from the free throw line. If you're looking for perfection, he's about as close to it as any player in the nation. Third in the nation overall, 32 for 33 from the free throw line is Davide Moretti. A coach's son, his dad a coach over in Italy. He plays the game like a coach's son. He hasn't shot it well of late, though. I mean, he, he hasn't shot it well tonight. He's 6 of 24 from three in their last three games. Had five turnovers in that game against DePaul. So he, it's not just tonight. He has struggled from that three-point line of late. Can a couple of free throws from someone like that, can that turn your game around a little bit? It could, absolutely. Yeah, yeah and you'd love to see him maybe get a layup. He's not driving the ball. And it's clearly in his head. You can just see from his eyes, and he keeps shaking his head after every miss. A 
Well, Texas Tech's only lead was at 12-11 earlier this half. Wow. And Gabe Watson is doing everything in his power to keep that number. It's all mid-range from Gabe Watson, too. Getting to a spot and elevating. The lost art. And Moretti still cannot find the bottom of the bucket. Five-point lead, 90 seconds to go. Southern Miss has taken this United Supermarkets Arena crowd out of it and has taken the Red Raiders out of it. There's a nice drive that falls off the rim by McCoy. And we're going the other way. There's no other way to put this. This is a shocking first half. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I, I think Texas Tech is good. I think they should be in the top 25. They are playing without Jamias Ramsey. But I think people need to understand where this Southern Miss team is at and this program is at. This is a rebuild job for Jay Ladner. They are 3-8 and eight on the year. They've been blown out in a lot of games. And they're playing without three rotation players, as you said, Rich. This is a shocking result in this first half. One minute to go. And if Texas Tech doesn't score quickly, this will be the lowest scoring first half of the season. Here's Benson, knocks down a triple. That's just what the doctor ordered for Avery Benson, his first points of the night. Watson again. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. Double digits for number zero in goal, Gabe Watson. Seven second differential between the shot clock and the game clock as the first half winds down. And a use it or lose it timeout from Chris Beard. He will take it with his team down four and 24 seconds to go in the first half. Chris Beard used it. I hope he doesn't lose it during the timeout. Well, it's been no dunks and no three pointers, but a lot of mid range game from Gabe Watson. Lost start. Don't let the analytics folks watch this game because Gabe Watson living in the mid range. He's just getting to a spot, rising up, elevating. And a guy who has not shot it well this year, Gabe Watson having himself, himself one heck of a half. Well, when you talk to Jay Ladner about the point guard, Gabe Watson, he said he's probably the best at creating his own shot. That highlight clip that we just saw, he did some of that, getting just enough separation to get that jump shot off. His dad, Orion, played some ball at Mississippi State, so he's got it in his DNA, and he's showing it tonight. They started out the year with him at the point guard. I, I don't think he was comfortable. He was high turnover there. They've moved him off the ball, and he has flourished in his first half. Let's see what Chris Beard has dialed up after the timeout. Shannon, lefty jumper, no. Watson, the rebound, and they have plenty of time to get a bucket going into the break. Three seconds. Watson takes it himself for three. Gabe Watson puts the Golden Eagles on his back in the last 10 minutes of the first half. He's got a game high 13, and the lead is seven for Southern Miss. My dear Watson, this is what they call a heater that Gabe Watson is on. Southern Miss is up seven. I cannot overstate what we have going on here in Lubbock, Texas. Southern Miss's last top 25 win came back in 2004.